Coach, I'll just get an opening statement from you, and then we'll do a couple questions, and we'll get out of here. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's funny after these games, you you'd love to be sad. Um, I, I am sad, but it's because, you know, like we talked about in the locker room, because there are four seniors that won't be with us next year, and after today, it's pretty much over. They're my they're my buddies now instead of my my players, and so it's a sad day from that standpoint. But on the other hand, I keep looking back. We've We've only been in Division Two for five years, and for us to win a conference championship and a conference tournament championship, I can't say enough about our kids. I know it didn't show today, and I feel bad for them because this is one of the toughest, tough-mindedest teams. They're just, God, they just bring it every day, and they got up to such a terrible season this year with COVID and stuff, and for them to continue to fight after being 10 and 13 at one time, just incredibly proud of these kids and kind of where they came. Disappointed for them today, but proud of what they accomplished. Yeah, you know, Chris, this run, these last couple of weeks, I'm sure, has been kind of a whirlwind, and I, I you, you might look back on it a little differently in a couple of weeks, but just kind of walk me through what it's been like to, to go into the GLIAC tournament as the eight seed, you know, upset after upset, and then find yourself in the tournament, and just what this experience has been like with your team. I'll say it's been pretty cool, uh, especially the fact that we made it in as the eighth seed, and people, think, people thought that we weren't going to make it in, and we kind of knew that we were going to make it in, and we knew once we made it in that we didn't have much to lose other than the fact just go out there and play hard. And I feel like it just took care of itself and we ended up winning the Glenn Championship. Coach, you know, what does that say about this team? Uh, they've been able to battle through what probably from the outside looking in were yeah. games that people thought they should have lost. Um, but you, you found yourself here in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, I just keep going back to the, the nature of these kids. I, when things didn't go well, we had like a 31-day span in December and January where we only practiced five times, never had a game, and yet you know, had to go out there and compete against other teams that had practiced that entire time. And I, everybody had issues, but for these kids to lose eight out of ten at one time and just continue every day, I was really proud of our senior group. And One thing that I, I said all along was I was amazed that every morning we'd come to practice and usually our coaches are the first one there and we got kids calling us, coach can get the balls out an hour before practice, 45 minutes before practice. And it really made an impression on the younger kids. And as much as Chris probably hates to hear this, I'm so excited for the future with kind of the foundation. When people I know it's cliche, uh, but the, the foundation that was set by those guys and kind of how you get out of the funk and how you continue to play hard and all those things and how you focus and come together versus splintering and coming apart, that tone was really set by the older guys and how they approached every day and stuff. And hopefully that will continue with, with the young kids that we got coming back in the next year. Well, Chris, just one last question. What does it mean to hear him say that you guys are going to continue to have an impact on this program even after you leave? Um, it means a lot because I, I know a lot of the younger kids have been under my wing, so I'll, to see them actually uh, look up to me and actually actually start to uh, start playing good and actually feeling good about themselves when I am gone uh, means a lot to me, especially them being in a program with me so long and me building relationships with them. So. It's definitely cool. It's just sad I can't be a part of it anymore with those guys. So. Anything else? Uh, no, just uh, excited for these guys where they're going. I, I say this all the time, you know, basketball at some point's over. Like, I wish I could still play, but I can't anymore. At some point you have to move on. And I'm excited for the guys that are graduating. Cause I know all those guys just kind of how they carry themselves every day and how they treat people and all those things. Um, they're going to be successful people, and that'll make me feel really good down the line. That's what this is all about, trying to learn life lessons and all those things. And so, proud of where they came, where they're going, and I just know no matter where they go, they're going to do a good job. Good. You good? Okay. Thank you, guys. Congratulations on a fun run.